So before we dive into the material itself, I want to take a quick look at how the book relates to the video series and how you would work with those together. So we're not going to do one long series for the entire Using Drupal book. Instead, we're going to break it into 13 distinct series that covers each of the sections in the book so that it's a little more manageable and easier to follow. So in this particular lesson, we're just going to be looking at how does the book relate to the video series then we're going to dive into each individual series or chapter and look at what material is covered and sort of what, what is the organization within each of those so you'll have a sense of how you're going to move through the material. And then we're going to finish it up by just talking real quickly about ways that you can use the book with the videos to kind of get the most out of what it is that you're doing here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves organized. In terms of how the book chapters will be turned into videos, each chapter in the book is going to become its own series, and then you can go through the series in the same order as you would in the book, or just like you can in the book, you could hop around um, to whatever chapter it is that you're most interested in. So in terms of which chapters will actually be covered, um, this introduction to the using Drupal series is essentially covering the information that is in the preface uh, in the book. And then we're going to do all of the chapters one through nine uh, on the different case studies. And then we will be doing um, the appendices um, A, B, and D. You'll notice that C is not listed there. C is just a listing of the contributed modules that are used throughout the book. And we'll be covering that at the beginning of each series individually. And so there's no need to create a video series uh, that's basically just telling you the modules that we're using. So we won't be doing Appendix C in the book, but everything else from the preface through Appendix D will be done. And each of those will be its own series of videos. So aside from uh, the, the preface and the appendices, which, which cover their specific information, each of the main chapters, one through nine, are broken down in a similar way in each chapter to cover the material. And so what we'll be seeing in terms of the videos in the series is um, it will always start off with the case study, uh, which sort of introduces what the topic of the series will be. Um, a particular case study uh, that we're going to build throughout that series, and then some implementation notes on what we're going to be using. And that's where we'll talk about what modules uh, we've chosen to use. Then once that's been covered, there will be um, one lesson for each of the spotlights in a chapter and a lesson for each of the hands-on sections in a chapter. Um, and there are multiples of those per each chapter. And then it wraps up with taking it further section, which um, looks at other things that you could do to extend the work that we've done within that actual chapter. Um, so other things that you can go play with um, and build on from what you've learned so far. And then of course, we'll wrap it all up with a summary to look at our original case study and how we have built that site uh, using the tools that we've chosen for that particular chapter. If we take a look at uh, the index for using Drupal. So this is the PDF version of the book that I have open here. And you can see uh, over on the left hand side, I'm looking at the table of contents right now. Um, and as I've said, the preface, all of the chapters one through nine, appendix A, B and D will each be their own series. So it's broken down just like it is in the book. Um, and I wanted to just look at uh, an example outline for one of the chapters so that we could see how that's going to relate to the series and how you can use the book with the video series. So I'm looking at uh, chapter seven here, which is managing publishing workflows and uh, works with Workbench. Um, and as you can see, we have the case study uh, and then we have various spotlights. So there's taxonomy, path auto, Workbench, where we dive into what those modules or features are and why we're making the choices that we're making about how to implement them. And then we have various hands-on sections that follow after the spotlights, sometimes more than one per spotlight, that 
show you how to actually do it. And that's where we actually build things together as we walk through the tutorials. Uh, and then we have taking it further. Uh, not all chapters have taking it further, but most of them do. And then a summary over what we've done. So in the series, each of these will be an individual video in the series. So if you, as you're going through the book, if you get stuck on something, you could always come and watch just that video. It'll be very easy to line up where you are in the book with videos that are within a particular series. So that's how we're going to organize things. We're going to start at the beginning and work our way to the end. Thank <laughs> you.